Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management Channel on YouTube. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Robinhood. Should you buy Robinhood stock? We're going to be doing a full breakdown. We're going to look at fundamentals, technicals, and pretty much everything you must know about this stock. I hope you guys enjoy it. And overall, I hope you guys get something of value out of this video. And if you do, hit that like button and subscribe because it really helps me out. So now, roll the intro. Let's go. Now, for those of you that don't know what Robinhood is, Robinhood is an online broker that allows you to buy stocks, ETF, and even cryptocurrency, all commission-free. Now, back in the day, there was this thing called commission. Now, what it is, it's actually a crazy thing now because you never find a broker that you know has it. Before, some brokers would actually charge you to buy stock and to sell stock. And the beauty of Robinhood is they came out and said, hey, we're wiping out commissions. And obviously that got a ton of people uh, in their door and it really changed the whole industry of brokers, right? Now it's very uncommon to find brokers that pay or offer commission. It's all pretty much commission free. Um, so Robinhood was one of the first uh, brokers to offer that. And before that, it was just pretty much like a stock market blog. Now, obviously with Robinhood just announcing their IPO, which is their internal public offering, they've been going up and down at pretty rapid rates, right? The company in general is pretty volatile right now. And I think that's very expected just because it's an overall growth stock and it just had their IPO. But on the revenue side and all their fundamentals, this stock is absolutely crazy. So looking at their revenue, right? They broke out and they had a 343% increase in revenue and that came out to just over 500 million dollars and this was just that crazy increase guys and i think that that momentum is only going to get stronger 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 and stronger so now anytime you guys evaluate a company there is a ton of things to look at but by far one of the most important things is cash on hand the reason why this is so important is because if robin hood you know if robin hood's revenue ever slowed down they need enough cash to get through a hard time or a recession or even a crash in some cases so robin hood they have over $10 billion in cash, and that is phenomenal, especially if you guys compare it to their long-term debt. Robinhood does carry a little bit of long-term debt at $5 billion, and it's super common for companies to actually take on long-term debt to actually grow the business, especially when they first started out to take on debt to grow it larger. And with Robinhood not having more long-term debt than cash on hand, that is very, very promising. But one thing to understand is Robinhood is not profitable just yet, but very similar to growth stocks, it's very common to actually see um, you know, these startups or smaller companies actually not become profitable for a couple of years, right? Tesla is one of the most prime examples. It took Tesla literally years um, for them to become profitable. You know, they became profitable, I believe, in like 2018. So I think that is a huge thing for you know Robin Hood to overcome. I think they can do it because they have very high margins and you know the overall demand for Robinhood is only going to pretty much continue. So now that we have a great understanding of a lot of Robinhood's fundamentals, now let's actually go ahead and look at the technicals. So this is gonna be support, resistance, price targets, all that fun stuff, let's go. Alrighty guys, so we are looking at Hood. This is Robinhood's ticker, and this is the chart for the past you know 180 days. You guys can see right here, it opened up at around $38 a share, it immediately sold off down to 33 and really didn't do much, right? We had a little bit of consolidation, not much growth, and then this, this massive growth. The stock went from literally 80, 85, or, you know, went pretty much from $32 all the way up to $85. That was a massive increase of well over 130%. Sold off, did a little bit of consolidation, and then obviously anytime you have that big of growth, you know, if you even look at the RSI right here, you guys can see the massive overvalue that this thing had happened just because of the overall momentum, right? Stocks don't go up that fast that quick without selling off a little bit. So then it sold off just like we kind of expected. And you, and you guys can see it had that steady downward trend, really didn't do much, right? Just slow, steady, hit that 200 moving average line. And the thing about 200 moving average lines, this yellow line here, these represent pretty much a variety of things. One, it represents trend indication. So you guys can look at it and instantly know the overall direction of a stock, okay? And not to mention when a stock is above it like it is up in here, it represents a support line. So this is a tendency to see buying pressure enter. 
So it came in contact, it hit it, you know, it hit it multiple times, and then we got buying pressure, came back up, hit this old res old resistance, sold off, and really now has just been consolidating around that 200 moving average line. So for me, the main question we get asked is, Carter, what is the major support? Right now, the major support is around 42 to $40 a share. Major resistance is 50. So yes, you guys could make some swing trades, but th the thing about it is recently, it hasn't been doing much, just pretty much consolidation. And I think that's fair just because of this massive growth we've seen from it. It's now just selling off, getting a more fair value and everything like that. All right, so the major question is, should you buy Robinhood stock? Is it overvalued, undervalued? Well, Robinhood in general, is a it's a growth stock. Anytime you look at it or an evaluated growth stock, it will always have a tendency to appear overvalued because it's growth, right? People buy in for the hype of the next you know, two to five years. So I think Robinhood definitely carries a ton of long-term um, a, long, a ton of long-term potential. The thing about it is Robinhood has been, you know, has had history in the past of selling data, selling privacy problems, and actually got sued by the SEC. Other than that, Robinhood in general is a very strong stock, and I would not be surprised to see this thing really standing at 50 to $55 a share by next year. I think this is a very fair and stable company. They're going to become profitable relatively soon. And I obviously believe that this would be a pretty solid investment. So for me, it's an absolute buy, but understand one, it's going to be more volatile. It's going to, it's going to make your account swing, you know, because if you guys go up, you know, if you bought in at 85, you'd actually be down um, in value. One thing to understand too, is don't go heavily invested. I would keep it under 5% of your portfolio. What that means, if you have a $100 portfolio, only put $5 in it. If you have a you know $1,000 portfolio, I wouldn't recommend going about $50 or something like that, right? You have to have you know that outlook for that too because it's gonna swing your account up. Not to mention a fantastic strategy that I use to get a fair value for the stock is dollar cost averaging. What what you do is you pretty much figure out how, how you pretty much figure out however much you want to invest. So if you want to invest, let's just say a thousand dollars into Robinhood, instead of investing a thousand dollars all up front, maybe you'll invest twenty dollars a week or ten dollars a week for the next ten weeks or five weeks. So you still invest, you know, that total principal, but you just spread out the payment. So what it does, it gets a good average price for that time period, and it's a fantastic way to invest into a lot of these growth stocks, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. So guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And overall, I hope you guys got something of value out of this episode. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And we will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. Take care.